Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ew, look at the hair. Are you living? I like gag. Gag Chandra. Yes, honey. She actually did something to the hair. <laughs> I bought myself this curling iron. It's like this nine millimeter small curling iron. So even my short hair, I can get some texture in it because usually it's bone straight and it's fun to change it up sometimes so giving you this whatever this is i hope you appreciate it absolutely and then before we go actually into tutorial uh, i have a couple of things first of all if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so and then ring the little bell so you get notified whenever i upload and then like this video it actually pushes it up in the algorithm and more people see my videos and it really helps me out so thank you for that and then the next thing if you have noticed a couple of differences yes i'm updating and constantly improving right now my youtube content for you i hope you see it and appreciate it the first thing i actually uh tweaked on was the audio so if you have watched my last video you know i have a new mic but also now what i actually bought is those acoustic panel absorbent whatever that is so what it actually does I have it right behind my camera as the wall and so um, usually my sound my voice goes and goes onto the wall and reflects back into the mic and so what happens is that there's a little echo happening and now with this it actually first of all absorbs some of the echo but also then because of the shape kind of like you know diffuses it and then it's everywhere so it doesn't echo anymore so I should have almost quality of like you know podcasts and something like that so it should be a really good sound especially comparing to like two or three videos ago and then the backdrop so i finally actually built myself a beautiful frame that i can clip different backdrops onto it i was very inspired by nika tutorials frame that she has if you want to see how it looks like go onto her youtube and watch the studio tour and then you can see it it's very similar just smaller so I can clip different backdrops onto it and then I have backdrop lights that actually give it a little bit of light. And now the only thing I'm missing is like a hair light. So this will come later on and then I think I'm all good and equipped. Now, before we go into tutorial though, I do want to talk about one thing really quick with you guys. So there's a big debate going on in Germany right now and I think it's very important. And before I explain I do want to go into showing you three little short clips and then we will talk about it. All right, guys, now that I showed you those clips, let's talk about them for a second. Because I hear many, many people tell me, oh my God, I love gay men, I love queer people, I love my lesbians, my bisexuals, my transsexuals, my pansexuals, whatever it is. And then they're confronted with that, with gay love, with LGBTQIA plus love. And all of a sudden they realize, wait a minute, oh, it kind of like makes me feel weird. And that's okay. Let me tell you first, it is okay. If you see something that you not usually see to feel strange about it, because it is strange, you know, seeing something that you're not used to. But I want you to understand that you need to overcome that and then go ahead and celebrate it. Celebrate love, celebrate when you see two people exchanging, you know, affection to each other. If you have a problem with somebody, you know, let's say, I say goodbye to my husband in the morning and I kiss him just like, you know, a, a regular, quick, like, Mwah. and that, that makes you feel weird. Like, you, we need to talk about this. Like, you should not feel weird about that. Showing love to each other is the most beautiful thing, especially right now on this planet where there's so much division and, and hate going on. We need to celebrate, celebrate each other's love and just have that in mind, you know, like, if you're a true ally and you want to be an ally, this is how queer love looks like and you need to be okay with that. 
All right, now that the serious part is done, let's go into the muck, the makeup, the face, the beauty of a generation that is called my eye makeup. <laughs> okay, work. I was talking about it in my last video and I will link it up here just so you can watch it when you're done with this one. Stay and watch this one, thank you. Um, about how influencers will try to sell you 500 products to tell you you need all of them to create a look just so they can make you know money now i wanted to you know show you improve you that how do you say i put improve in the pudding like show you what i preached that you don't need all of that and i actually create this whole eye makeup with four items and one eyeshadow so the eyeshadow is already included i have an eyeshadow a liner a mascara and some lashes that's it and that's really amazing like literally one shadow and you can create a full glam look so if you want to know how i achieve that then keep watching all right, guys, as you see, I've done pretty much all my makeup because today we just want to focus on the eye and I'm literally using four products and that's pretty much it. So what we are using is one eyeshadow and this one is Espresso from MAC, but any medium tone matte shade will do. So I recommend you, you know, depending on your skin tone, go either lighter or darker, or if you're around my complexion, then use something like that. The next thing I will use is a pencil. This is just, a, I call this one in a, in a color Teddy. Teddy is just a warm brown, so pretty much matchy matchy because I do want Want this to be a very uh, monochromatic look on the eye. The last two things we're using are lashes and a mascara. Uh, which one I'm using? Oh, let's use this one right here. This is the Miss Baby Rove Mega Volume from L'Oreal. And then the lashes are Fairy Doll from Eldora Lashes. This is what I will use. So uh, I try to stay in focus. I, it's now a little bit more challenging because of the microphone in front of me and then the mirror behind it. So I need to make sure I can see myself. The next thing I want to talk about is brushes. And I will mostly use today for the crease this one. This one is the Wayne Gloss number no. four. It's a tapered blending brush. So it goes a little bit more to the point. There's a difference, like if you use natural fiber or synthetic fiber, this is a natural fiber brush. So um, it allows me to deposit product more controlled while if you would use a more stiff brush you would get more of a color impact but this is what i will start off with and if you just have one shadow you can definitely change up the tools you're using to create a different effect so all i do now is i do take a little bit of espresso and I'm tapping off excess because I don't want to start with a lot of product. And I already primed my eye. So what I do now is just go with a very light touch and start in the socket line back and forth, just depositing product. Now after I've done that, I go into circle motions to blend the product even further. And what I also do is the higher I go, the softer I touch my skin. So I pull it almost away from my skin. Now you can always have a clean brush. Um, this one is the number three, it's just a bigger brush. And take that just to blend out even further. Now after I've done the first coat, I go back in with more of the eyeshadow. And I do wanna now create more depth, especially on the outer corner, so I focus the brush and keep it more on the outer corner and do little circles and I also kind of like blend it onto my eyelid so I get a soft uh, blown out blended effect there too and then you can always again go back with your clean brush and blend even more now what I do next is I take a little bit of my foundation that I still have on a flat brush and this is just to create a little bit more shape because we cannot create so much drama with the colors we need to do that with shape so what i do now is just clean up that inner corner here and this way i create like a soft cut crease kind of effect next i'm going in with teddy and i'm doing just a liner and then i will pull it out and blend it out with this brush this one is a cryolan 9814 it's a really really large angled brush and so it, it's just really quick i also use that in my waterline on the bottom and on the flat brush i'm using espresso again and just 
blend out the lower lash line and you know give it a little bit more smokiness and again it's all about shape to create more excitement so what i actually do is i take that espresso and then just on the inner corner i will actually disconnect it from my eye to make it you know a little bit more cat feline and then i just blend it out now if you have straight lashes like i do take your lash curler and give him a good curl Let's pop on plenty of mascara. All right, guys, this is one eye done. So let me go off camera and I'm doing the other side and then I see you in just a second. All right. Yes, honey, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Yes, honey, the makeup is gorgeous. Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. <laughs> like, honestly, like, you know, taking the, the, the fun down for a second. I love doing the ch challenges like that for myself because, honestly, I love creating eye makeup with 500 different shadows. And so cutting it down to one is pretty extreme. But... I made it happen. So that means for you too, you can do that too. It, it is great to know that you can do that. Just, you know, let's say you're on the go and you realize, damn, I forgot my makeup bag at home or, you know, somebody stole it. Then, uh, you know, you can achieve it with just one shadow. And that's great. So I hope you like it. If you have not, give this video a thumbs up. Again, it really helps me to push my video in the algorithm. More people see me, more people are aware of me. And I would really love that because guess what? I'm one of actually a handful of unproblematic beauty gurus left on this platform. <laughs> I never had a scandal. I need to have a scandal maybe. So people realize I'm here. No, I don't want to. I'm too old for this boo -sheez. Um, No. If you have not, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the little bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And sorry that I didn't upload the last two weeks, but I was literally busy creating the studio and doing a lot of things on the side. But, you know, sometimes live is just live. All right, now let me go ahead, go offline, feel my fantasy with my curls and this beautiful eye makeup and that's it i need to go like every video i have the feeling i get more and more ridic ridiculous it's just what it is all right thank you for watching i really appreciate you and as always until i see you next time auf wiedersehen und bis zum nächsten mal